Crystal? Crystal! Martin didn't deliver the plans yet. We need the plans. Where's that lousy architect? You know, if we don't get the plans, then we're not going to be able to file for phase two. No phase two, no project. What is going on here? Well, I don't know, sweetheart. But I suggest that you make some alternate plan. After all, that is what I pay you for. Don't I, sweetheart? Now, you get those permits in any way you can. I want to be building by the end of next month. I want construction crews on site by the end of July. I want to see bulldozers. I want to see trees falling. I want to see parking lots. Asphalt, parking lots. Make it asphalt. Asphalt. How do you spell asphalt? <sighs> Did you get my drift, honey buns? Yes, Miss Endicott. <sighs> yes? Mrs. Endicott? That young lady from Public Relations is here with those kids from the Safari Rangers. Just a minute. Now, have I made myself perfectly clear? Oh, yeah. uh, yes. Yes, Miss Endicott. Sorry. Oh! Yes? Should I send them in? Oh, well, all right, send them in. Miss Syndicott, it is my pleasure to introduce the Safari Rangers, Pack 222. Well, Eve, dear, I am so glad you're here. My, look at all these children, aren't they adorable? Just where do you get them from? Now, Eve, I want you to tell me what I am to do today. Today is the day we make our donation. The check, the check. Oh, yes, yes, the check. Now, you all gather around old Charlotte, and we'll take a picture. Excuse me, ma'am. Aren't you the lady that my mom says is wrecking the Everglades? Shut up and smile, sweetheart. Horoscope, little Buddha? Mom, I really hate you to call me that. And besides, I'm more accurate than G. Dixon is anyways. Sheesh, what's eating you? Is it that dream you had by the pool the other day? You know, I could still call the Swami Mahatma Gandhi Rahishi Alibaba. He's a great dream analyzer. Mom, they're not dreams. They're real. Don't I know him?
You don't. But I do. What's happening? Nothing at all. <sighs> Some convention, huh? Well, I thought there was going to be a little more women here than I thought. Yeah. Even if there were, you can't tell what they look like under all those clothes anyways. Well, there's one. Check the one out there. Not bad. The yeah. blonde? Yeah. With the mustache? No. The one behind her. Oh, oh see? a little flowered number. Not bad. Nice. But, uh... So, what, are you, you almost finished her? Right? No, I haven't even started. What the hell are you going to write about this place? It's going to be a good story, huh? Want me to send it over to you before it goes to press? I know you probably won't be able to wait for it. No, that's OK. Take your time. I'll wait for the final copy. Uh, I guess I should probably get back over here. Well, have mark, fun. Mark my words. It's not going to be this story, but I'm going to get a headline. I trust you. Top of the heap. <laughs> the big banana. Good luck. Remember, prime time live. <laughs> me and Diane Sawyer. Just call me Sam, huh? Oh, well. I'm, um, uh, sorry. You should be. <laughs> Dude, talking to her. Oh, cool. Um, can I get you another drink? Don't I know you? I'm Brady, Jack Brady. I'm Ball, Tracy Ball, <laughs> and I think you've been watching too many James Bond movies. Uh, well, we're old friends, you know, we went to different schools together. And... Oh, okay. Um, you don't come to these things too often, do you? Mm, no, it gave me away the shirt. Can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please? The New Age Seminar on Yoga Techniques for Nightmare Control will convene in the ballroom in just five minutes. I've never been to a yoga technique seminar before. Maybe since I'm going to buy another drink, you might feel obligated to accompany me. You know, you could explain to me what's going on. You look pretty fast, Mr. Brady. I like that in a man. the part. And what part is that? You know, new agey. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, in his only Fort Lauderdale appearance, the one, the only, Swami Mahatma Gandhi Rashi Ali Baba. And tonight, I'm going to give you a demonstration on Astanga Yoga and how you can use Astanga Yoga to control your nightmares. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate tonight is the headstand. Here we go. Mr. Brady, I still have friends that wear tie-dye. Does that make them hippies to you? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, what I mean is, uh... Mr. Brady, I'd be rather fond of you, but if you continue on this present course, I think you're going to lose what little ground you may have gained so far. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing so well, am I? Well, oh. you're doing better than the Swami on the oh. stage, that's for sure. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but it, it's been a long time since I've done headstand. So maybe I, I try something else. I will show you a balancing posture. Balancing postures are very good because when you balance the body, you balance the mind, and then no more nightmares. OK, here we go. Ugh. 
Alright. Let's start again. So why are you here? Well, I don't know how to say this without it sounding a bit strange. But my daughter has recently been experiencing these really bad dreams. More like nightmares. That's a more appropriate word. And something happened the other day. I mean, that was the real clincher. That's why I'm here today. So what happened? Did you see the article about the disappearance of that architect in today's paper? Yeah, I wrote the article. No. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm a reporter. My daughter recognized his picture from her nightmare. Your daughter knew Robert Martin. Was that his name? Yeah, Robert Martin. Is he dead? I did not say he was dead. What exactly are you saying? All I'm saying is that Crystal, that's my daughter, recognized him from her nightmare. I mean, she, she saw these awful things happening to him. And you know, it's not the first time that she's done something like this. And? She's, she's always been kind of special, kind of like having a sixth sense about these things. The next important posture is to learn how to put the foot behind your head. Then you can kick the nightmares right out of your head. Tell you what, since I made you miss the seminar, um, what do you say I make it up to you by buying you dinner? Unfortunately, my horoscope restricts me from any unsolicited invitations tonight. And believe me, the way things have been going lately, I do not intend to go against the astral brain. But how about tomorrow night? Right, I think we got something here. Oh. Ooh, looks sexy today. Come on, come on, come on. You know how you like it. I know how you like it. Breathe on me. Tell me something. Huh? All right, all right, all right. See, I wanted that look. I wanted that angry look. Oh, are you mad at me? Huh? Huh? You get pornographic or something? Ah. That's fine. Thank you. Oh, Dawn, come on up. Ooh. I love that coral outfit. Step right up. My next victim. Oh, I mean, uh, my next model. You look good. You look good. Come on. Show me something. Move, move. Action, action. I love it. Come on. Broward Gazette, check for you. Hey, baby. How you doing? Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm uh, looking forward to tonight. You know, I get to hold on to the swimwear for this evening. Tonight, yeah. I, oh, no, you know what, Sue? I can't make it tonight. No, I got another date, date, deadline. Yeah, I got to cover that story that I was working on yesterday. What kind of story? No, the new age story, the one that I was working on the other day. Remember I told you? God, how many of those things do you have to go to? Look, I'm sorry, Sue. I tell you what, I'll make it up to you. No, tomorrow night. We'll go to Shooters. We'll take the water taxi down. Well, okay. I'm trying to let you off the hook this time, but only because you're so cute. But you owe me. Hold on a minute, will you? Sue, we have our next shoot. I've got the new swimwear. It's a thong. I think you're going to really look smashing in it. Ooh, really? really? <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> How about seven? Is that all right? That'll work. OK. I'll be thinking of you, sweetheart. Bye. I'll be thinking of you, too. <laughs> What's going on? Don't tease me, Flash. 
Working on another Pulitzer Prize winner, are you? Yeah, another big scoop of the old Broward Gazette. No, I wouldn't worry about it. You'll get your story one day. You never know. You might replace Dear Abby yourself. Very funny, Mr. Snapshot. By the way, cute. Oh, you like this, yeah. huh? Would you grow it overnight? Almost. Yeah, I'd hate to see your back, huh? <laughs> right. Oh, so you know what? Right. Remember that thing we went to the other night, that new age thing? Yeah. The woman that I met? I bumped into yeah. her and spilled her drink the on her. with the uh, nice ballet shoes. Yeah, exactly. That. Yeah, what about her? Well, she might have an interesting angle on that missing archetype, the story I was looking into the other day. How's that? Well, her daughter, she has these psychic visions. Psychic vision? A psychic vision. You know, I think you're really working too hard on this story, man. <laughs> no, man, I'm telling you, you don't Crack. understand. She yeah. Uh, listen, where's my story about that New Age convention? I'm working on it. I need it. I needed it first I thing this morning. Yeah. I know. Candy? Uh, no, thank you. How am I supposed to put a newspaper together, huh? When you're always late with your copy? If I left it up to you, that monthly rag excess would be breaking stories before us. Good God, man. What'll happen if I ever give you a real story? You know, funny you should mention that because I've got a real story. It's a front pager. I'm telling you, it's headline. We can break the thing first. You. What it is, this story? Headline. The story that I was working material. on the other day. Yeah. Listen, Jack, all I want to hear from you right now, Jack, is here it is, I'm finished. Here's my new age story. All right, got it? Huh? Now, come on, get typing. I'm telling you, you don't understand. We can be the leader with this thing. It's about the architect that disappeared. Nobody else You want to see it. something disappear, go poof, go away? How about your job, for starters? It'll go away if you don't have that story on my desk in 10 minutes, Jack. Now get typing. The clock is ticking. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Fine. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. I'll finish this piece of shit. But tonight, Jack Brady is going to do a little investigating on his own. No, come on. That's it. Move over. That's a boy. That's a boy. WGRO Grow, your environmentally sensitive radio station. On the ecological front, the spokesman for MRD Enterprises has announced a continuation of their development in our fragile Everglades. The wetlands destruction for urban development goes uncontested ah, through the course ow, and the stupid, community. Dumb, stupid, if don't only do that someone again. can halt this rape of nature. Meanwhile, back to soothing sounds and morning dew. Boy, this coat, boy, this coat, I uphold the ruling in favor of MRD Enterprises to continue development in the name of progress. 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 <laughs> you see, Jones, you can never win. <laughs> you and your environmentalists can't hold a candle to corporate America. We control it all. <laughs> we control where to build, when to build, and how to build. So you can take your ecosystem and stick it where the sun don't shine. <laughs> Na 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 Dr. Jones. Mr. Stein, Professor Jones is on the phone again. He says it's extremely urgent. Miss Gordon, I don't wish to speak to the good professor. Sir, if I may say so, he's just going to keep on calling.
Sign, Ms. Gordon. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, Professor, you got me. Now let's get to the point, and please be brief. I've got a lot of work to do today. Albert, Mr. Stein, hi. Good to hear your voice again. How have you been? I, are you still playing with your balls? I'm sorry, I mean that little toy on your desk. Very humorous, Professor. But I do seem to recall laughing at you quite a bit some time ago. Now what's so important that you feel the need to call my office several times a day for? Alan, I'd like you to meet you for dinner. There are some things that I must discuss with you. I don't think that's a very good idea, Professor, given our past history together, you know? I do have a reputation to uphold. And I don't think it would be appropriate to be seen in the town with the world's most renowned throwback from the 60s. But thanks for calling, and have a good day. <laughs> Alan, very nice. My, you certainly have mastered the art of the brush off. Now, 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 Alan, before you hang up, I do want you to know that what I have to discuss with you does concern your current phase two project. Now, now by the way, isn't it uh, about time you got the paperwork filed with the zoning commission? Uh, Forgive me, Alan, I'm sorry. Now, now I know that you must have everything in order by now. Now, don't you, Alan? If this is some sort of a joke, Jones, you'll regret it. Well, it's no joke at all, Alan. By not meeting with me, you could be jeopardizing that very gem that you have worked so feverishly on. And, and Alan, we both know that I'm not one prone to exaggeration. Okay. 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 Uh, I have an open tomorrow lunch. Uh, how, how about Hooters? Yeah, now, now that's fine. There you go, Alan. That wasn't so hard, now was it? And I'll see you tomorrow, okay, Alan? No. And Alan? Yes. Goodbye. When you're done admiring yourself, Jack, it is Jack, isn't it? You can come on in. Mom's still getting ready. It'll just be a few more minutes. If you want me to drink, there's beer or mineral water in the fridge. I better get ready to go. So you must be Crystal. I must be. So what are you going to do this evening while I take your mom to dinner? I think I'll go out to dinner, too. Probably with you. Say what? Oh, nothing. Oh, hi, Jack. Sorry I'm running late. It's just been one of those nights, you know? One thing after the other. That's right. You look great. Oh, thanks. Um, I'm going to plunge a toilet. Do you want something to, something to drink? In that order? It didn't come out right, did it? It came out fine. I'll have uh, mineral water. How did you know I have mineral water? Crystal told me. Uh, of course. That's why they call me Spacey Tracy. Who calls you that? Oh, when I was growing up, the kids in Long Island would always just say that I sort of spaced out on them, so they gave me the nickname Space Sue Tracy. Well, I have to say that you must have grown up since then. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks. Hi, Miss Ball. Is Crystal ready to go? Go? Go where? Oops. I thought Crystal told you about the Metallica show at Bicentennial Park. My friend Brian here, well, his brother has a friend whose girlfriend did. Well, you don't want to know what she did, but she got us backstage passes. Isn't that great? Yeah, great. See you later, Mom. Uh, wait a minute. May I have a word with you, please? Sure. Uh, I'll be right back. Crystal, I thought Becky was coming over here to study tonight. Oh, she was until Brian's brother's friend decided that he wouldn't stop. I don't want to know about this. I thought you were going to be home tonight, and that's where I really want you to be. I've been really concerned about you lately with these dreams and all, and I want you to tell Becky to go on without you. And if you were her friend, you'd tell her to lose those biker wannabes, too. <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm just going to hang here, so go on without me, okay? Okay, call me tomorrow. Later, dude. tonight I take both of you out for dinner. I'll put it on the expense account. You get an expense account? No, but for tonight I'll pretend like I do. Sounds good to me. Gee, what a great idea. She's always playing these games. My name is Sue. I'll be your waitress this evening. Would you like something to drink while you take a look in the menu? I'll have a noodles. Okay. I'll have a cup, please. Oh, sure. Um, I'll have... Don't I know you? Well, I was Miss Sushi on 1989. Really? Do you have lotus juice? No, I don't. But we do have a Mai Tai. Okay, I'll have that. Yeah, this is a really interesting place. I've never been here before. Speaking of interesting, that's some collection of crystal balls you have at home. I'm really proud of them. You know, I got the first one the day that Crystal was born. Her grandmother gave it to me. And you know, she always said it invoked special powers. Grandma sure had that one pegged. Here we are. Thanks, you know what? I don't even need a glass. That looks really nice. Thank you. Are you ready to order? Yes, I think so. Um, how about the vegetable delight? I'll have the hibachi chateaubriand. I'll have what's ever the most expensive on the sure. menu. No, she won't. Cancel that. You're gonna have liver and spinach. Mom, fine. I'll have the Benihana Marina. That's better. Okay. And you know what? You better bring me up. Sure, you get the board. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Your chef will be out in a few minutes, okay? Oh, we get our own chef, too? Of course. Wow. I could grow fond of this place. So, Crystal, you were saying that your grandmother had that one pegged. What did you mean by that? Well, right before my grandmother died, I was talking to her. She would tell me stories about how she was able to predict things before they actually happened. Then she said, Crystal, you have the gift. Use it wisely. I had no idea what she was talking about until the other day when I had that vision. Hey, here we go. So, Crystal, you never finished telling me about your vision. Oh, yes. I saw that man. You know the one from the newspaper? Mm -hmm. 
I know it was him. It was the clearest thing in the whole dream. We were in a swamp. I felt like I was in a horror movie or some Queensryche video. It was so strange. Then I started seeing hospital needles, and I felt a sharp pain in my stomach. But then I saw a smiley face. <laughs> a smiley face? Yes. I don't know how it fits in, but that's what I saw. Oh, yes, and then lastly, I saw him sinking into the swamp. Well, I gotta tell you, that's some story. That's what she was telling me. Here's a tea. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Ooh, need some sugar. Mine's fine. I love yeah. it. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? This is how she acted when she had her first vision. Vision? Crystal. Crystal, what are you seeing? I'm scared. Sorry. Crystal, Crystal, Just... stop! Wow. Are you okay? That was weird. Are you alright? Yeah, I think so. Hey, Slugger, I got a lead on a story. Check this out. Uh, you, a lead? Maybe after this research work. What research work, bud? This research work, pal. Now, what do you guys got, a vendetta against my candy? No, seriously. There's this little girl, and last night, I watched her have this, like, psychic experience. Mm -hmm. She sees things before they happen. Mm -hmm. She's got a history of it. Mm -hmm. Well, last night she saw a murder. Last night she saw a murder, hmm? Right, all we gotta do is check it out. We can break it. Well, terrific. If it comes true, Jack, you get to write another New Age story. Well, I guess I'll just have to do a little investigating on my own. Okay, Professor, I'm here. What is so important? Al, good to see you, too. Uh, I took the liberty of ordering on, you know what they say, when in Rome. <laughs> I don't have time for this. I don't have time. It's such a relative concept. I tell you what, sit down, and I promise you won't regret this. Now, Alan, now you do not look like you've been eating well at all. I've I ordered some wings with some mild sauce. I, I know how you get your little tummy fix. <laughs> That's it. And, and, and now, Alan, it was so dramatic. Uh, I tell you what, sit down, uh, share a nail with me, and I promise I will get right to the point. Here you go. Enjoy. Okay. Tell me, Alan, uh, is it just okay? Fine. Is it, is it really fine, Alan? Do you think it's fine to destroy a whole ecosystem for the sake of a few pennies? A few pennies? Are you kidding me? A few billion pennies. If you can't go on with phase two of the project, Alan, you'll be destroying an entire living, breathing, self-sustaining ecosystem. The courts have already decided that issue. You know I gotta fight you on this one, Alan. You know that, don't you? Is that what this is all about? You having some kind of ego-boosting power trip? Some sort of flashback deal? Forget about it. You'll never win. <laughs> yeah. You see, Alan, I've learned to use 
ecosystem this time. Uh, it's actually a the ecosystem that you part of the pun. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the poison dart frog, Alan? Now, now it's indigenous to the Everglades of South Florida, and it, it secretes a very toxic fluid that initially renders the victim speechless. Next, it attacks the voluntary muscles, such as those used in bladder control. I guess you've already realized that by now, haven't you? Finally, it attacks the involuntary muscles. And stop me if uh, you've heard this part, but uh, at this point, death is inevitable. Oops, I gotta go. Tell me, Alan, how's it feel to be an extinct species? <laughs> Hey, how you doing? What do you got on the police blotter for a uh, starving reporter, Sarge? <laughs> you just getting busy. I don't do reporters. O'Malley does reporters. Hey, O'Malley! Who's on call? I don't know. I'm not on call. Check O'Reilly. Where's O'Reilly? Oh, it's not mine. It's O'Connor, you. Where's O'Connor? It's not me. It's McGillicuddy. <laughs> McGillicuddy! No, no, no! Gonzalez! Gonzalez! Try Gonzalez! Hey, Saj. There's a reporter here for you. You looking for me? Yeah, I guess so. Thanks for the help, Sarge. Yeah, no problem. Look, I'm doing a follow-up on that architect that disappeared. You got any new leads? Sorry, Slick. You know that case is still under investigation. I got nothing more to say. Come on, Roger. I've known you since you were on the beach. <sighs> Don't pull that shit on me, Jack. Have you guys dredged the swamps? You're right, Jack. All the swamps in South Florida. Well, why are you interested in the swamps? Just kind of lead, that's all. What kind of lead, Jack? You believe me, you don't want to know. Hey, Sarge. Things like we've got a stiff one down at Hooters. Who's on call? A regular dice man on Flattery. They say it's real stiff, too. Stiff one at Hooters, huh? Yeah, and I guess I'll be seeing you there. Yeah. I guess so. Thanks, Raj. So, Raj, what's the story? Don't know yet. Seems like this guy just bought the farm for no apparent reason. Heart attack, maybe. The autopsy ought to tell us more about that later. Well, you're gonna go. Can't really think of a better place than surrounded by Hooters girl, huh? Good point. Hey, so much for that pitcher of beer and wings. So what's the guy's name, anyway? Stein, Alan Stein. What do you mean, pitcher of beer and wings? The pitcher of beer and wings was sitting on the table. Your evidence? The waitress took it away a couple of minutes ago. Which waitress? Right there. You. Yeah, you, Miss... Gina. Miss Gina. No, just Gina. Okay, Gina. Why'd you quit table? Because it's my station, and I want to go home, and if I don't pay my station, I don't go home. Okay. Where did you put the stuff, the wings and the beer that you removed? Uh, the wings were in the garbage disposal, and the beer is due down the drain. You realize that was evidence? Evidence, no evidence. What do I care? My feet are killing me. I want to go home. His friend didn't even leave me a tip when he left. The jerk. The jerk. What do you look like, the jerk? I don't know. Uh, he had a white coat on. He looked kind of like a doctor. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I was too busy working my station and Lila's because Lila's pregnant again. Besides, I wasn't looking for a relationship. The guys look like dorks. Did you happen to overhear the conversation or his name? Like I said, I wasn't paying attention. I had too much trouble keeping my order straight. Thank you, Gina. Here's my card. 
If you can think of anything that uh, you feel might help us, call me, please. Okay. And if this happens to you again, don't touch it, okay? It's Alan Stein. Where do I know that name from? He's some bigwig lawyer for MRD Enterprises. MRD? Yeah. I gotta go. Hey, listen, you really ought to try that on lollipop. It's a disgusting habit. Thank you, Jack. Enterprises are committed well, you know to completing our project yeah. as planned. Despite difficulties, we realize this enterprise is beneficial to everyone in South wait Florida. Minute, wait a minute. We have the expertise to follow through with all phases of our complex project, and we're confident that the citizens of Broward County are behind us 100%. Oh no. No, no, no. God damn. <laughs> Hello, Public Relations, Eva Lay speaking. Yes, uh, I understand your company is planning on building even more onto its already big complex, onto some highly sensitive land in the Everglades. Now tell me, uh, what exactly are you planning to do to protect the environment's uh, natural resources? Natural resources? Oh, you mean mosquitoes, frogs, and mud. What we're talking about here is a swamp being revitalized into the state-of-the-art complex with... Uh, well, what about the wildlife, the land, the fauna? You can't just... You just can't just uh, bulldozer over nature like that without causing some serious damage. Sir, the damage would be to let this land go to waste. I mean, it's nothing but a hangout for alligators and snakes. Ugh. I just hate snakes. Anyway. What we're doing here is just best for everyone. Yeah, well, uh, we'll just, uh, see what's best for everyone, eh? I'll have a pair of, a uh, couple of <laughs> hot dogs, <laughs> too. What would you like on them? Oh, God. Mustard. Did I really say that? That's okay. I get used to it out here. No big deal. Do you work here every day? Mm -hmm. Monday through Friday. Yeah, same spot? Mm -hmm. Same have spot. Have you noticed anything unusual going on around here lately? I don't know. Everything's about the same. Oh, gee. That's the fourth accident today. Really? Oh, I don't understand this. It's horrible lately. I wonder why, huh? I don't understand. They need to put a red light up right there or something. It's a I think. dangerous intersection. Very dangerous intersection. Well, thank you. Have a good day. Eve? Have you finished that press release on our response to Stein's death? Yes, ma'am. Almost, Mrs. Nakat. Look, Miss December, I hired you for your work as well as your looks. I want that press release now. Our public has to know that we intend to go forward with our plan in spite of missing persons and untimely deaths. If I have said it once, I have said it a thousand times. Make it asphalt. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I'm Jack Brady from the Broward Gazette. We're having a press conference tomorrow, Mr. Brady. Press conference? Um, what press conference? About our lawyer's death, of course. Oh, yeah, I heard something about that. No, 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 that's, that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I'm doing an article on, um, 
attractive, successful businesswomen on the rise up the corporate ladder. And uh, I'm going to grab a business card for the address and that, you know. And Eve, you're first on my list, as a matter of fact. Oh. Really? Really. Really. Well, I would love to talk to you right now, but my boss is really on my case about our lawyer's death. Hmm, so now's not such a good time, huh? Well... Look, I'm sorry about your associate. He must have been a friend of yours, huh? Yeah. I liked him. Have they heard how he died? No one is really sure. Between me and you? I would say that that nutty professor had something to do with it. Jerry Lewis is in on this? <laughs> no, that goofball, Professor Jones. Ah, oh, Professor Jones. Paul Jones, the guy that worked so hard to stop our last project in the Everglades. Came close, too. What happened? Well, after he lost the court battle, I heard that the Institute fired him for being too left-wing in his attempts to stop our work. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, Eve, thank you very much. Um, I gotta go, but, uh... Okay, Jack. Thanks, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you, Jack. Wait a minute. When am I gonna get my interview? Excuse me, I'm looking for Dr. Jones. I know Professor Jones. Son, you don't have to yell. I hear you fine. Who might you be? I'm Jack Brady from the Broward Gazette. He's around back. Everglades drainage. Thanks. Everglades drainage. That's not your crazy Everglades no. drainage. Everglades drainage. Dr. Jones? Yes? Hi, I'm Jack Brady from the Broward Gazette. So, are you ready to get the truth out about MRD's planned destruction of the Everglades? Destruction? What are you talking about? Has somebody already been here to talk to you? I'm sorry, uh, I thought you were here about something else. No, have you got a minute? I got a couple of questions I'd like to ask you. A minute, Mr. Brady. Uh, let's step into my gazebo so we can talk. Interesting reading, Don. Hey, just some leisure reading, Mr. Brady, really. <laughs> Uh, and the excuse me, Mr. Brady, I'll just escort my uncle inside. Sometimes he gets confused. Uh, take your time. Come on, Uncle Julius. It's time to go in. Now. It's time for your nap. My Jeopardy's on. That was uh, my Uncle Julius, Mr. Brady. Uh, he's quite good, actually. Yeah, if you like the banjo. Yeah, I beg your pardon. Uh, nothing, Doc. Let's get back to the destruction or the murder 
of the environment. Uh, that's a very good topic for discussion, Mr. Brady. Now, now specifically, what is it that you wanted to know? Well, who do you feel is responsible? Well, that's obvious, Mr. Brady. We all are. You had to, I mean, society as a whole, and big business specifically, and all those who follow the philosophy of the green. I mean, the green of money, Mr. Brady. You see, it starts with a young couple and the American dream. They want a home in the country with a little house and a picket fence and a dog and children. So in come the bulldozers, and they scrape the skin off of the surface of the earth, displacing nature's own inhabitants and, and leaving behind a gaping wound for mankind to infect. Now then. Then come the sidewalks and the paved driveways which connect the roads which they drive their cars on while they spew toxins into the atmosphere which poison the very lifeblood of this planet which is now crisscrossed with asphalt strappings. Look, Doc, can you be just a little more specific? Would you care for the chemical composition of carbon monoxide? No, no, no. no. What I meant was, what can we do about it? Well, there's many things we can do, Mr. Brady, but... Perhaps you're referring to the recent case where I tried to stop MRD from building that monstrosity on the God's Little Acre. Have you heard about their architect? He's missing, you know. Just up and disappeared. Just like the bottlenose fox, the whitewater toad, and the swamp otter, they're all missing too. They've disappeared, but no one seems to care about that now, do they? No, no at all. <laughs> what about their attorney, Albert Stein? Have you heard about him? Have you heard about the rabbi and the farmer's daughter? <laughs> They found him, you know. Dead. Yes, uh, I, I think I heard about that on the news. Uh, have they determined the cause of death yet? No. No, as a matter of fact, they haven't. That's that's kind of why I'm here, Doc. Oh, it is, is it? Oh, well, well uh, Mr. Brady, uh, how do I fit into your scheme of things, if I may be so bold? Well, I've been told that you might have a grudge against MRD. <laughs> yeah, is that it? I, I see. I, uh, and what, am I supposed to uh, respond to these accusations thereby substantiating it? Well, I guess that's up to you now, isn't it, Doc? I mean, I already have their side. I came here to get your side. But if you don't want to give it to me, I guess my only option is to go to print with what I do have, whether it's a biased opinion or not. Doc, look, all I'm trying to do is get to the truth here. I know how it goes, passion, money, people kill people, people kill the environment. And do you but know what happens next, Mr. Brady? The circle is completed by the environment killing the people. And thus ends our conversation. Good day, Mr. Brady. I think you know your way out. Okay, Doc. That's the way you want it? I'll see you again, huh? Gonzalez speaking. Roger, hey, it's Jack. Listen, did the autopsy show anything on Stein? Yeah, I just got off the phone with the coroner. Looks like a heart attack. Well, listen, that heart attack might have been caused by some type of poison. You need to check that out. No kidding, big time investigator. If that bimbo waitress hadn't thrown away the evidence, we'd have a lot more to go on. Why, you got some scoop, Jack? Are you withholding info from me? You better not be, because if you are, I mean, I've gone out of my way to be nice to you, you know what I mean? Look, I told you everything I know. I'm gonna go home, and then when school's out, I'm gonna check my lead out a little further. I'll get back to you. Hey, all right. School's out. I gotta change. Okay, well, let's start from the beginning. Tell me exactly what you saw the other day in your vision. I saw that stupid smiley face. And what else? Well, I saw a shot. You, you know, the kind that doctors use? A syringe. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't being used as a shot. It was squirting something into a drink. And? And I saw a frog. There was a frog in the drink. In whose drink? I don't know. I mean, he was sort of ugly, though. You know, the kind my mom dates when she's feeling really insecure. Okay. This other guy, what did, what did he look like? Well, he was sort of bald and chubby. 
And the frog, what did it look like? Well, he was sort of bald and chubby. <laughs> huh. No, I mean, you know, the colors. Um, he was purple with orange stripes. Really? Would you recognize it if you saw it? You yeah. know, like a picture? I think so. That's it! That's the frog! For sure? Yes, definitely! The poison dart frog was used by native Indians in the Everglades. The Indians accumulated the secreted poison from the frog and placed it in a clay bowl. They would then dip the tips of their darts and spears in the bowl and use them for hunting. This paralyzing poison would kill the intended victim by completely halting all of its muscles, including the cardiovascular muscles. So you mean he was poisoned? We're going to find out. Oh, excuse me, I have to go get the door. Thanks, little Buddha. Oh, oh Jack, I see you can read minds too. Mom! Actually, I was just here asking Crystal a few questions. Seems her visions are turning out to be pretty accurate. I'm not surprised. My mom always said she had the gift. Oh, look at this beautiful crystal ball I got at the New Age store. It was on sale. Mom, not another one. I know, but I just couldn't resist. Gee, Mom, where do we put this one? Homicide, Gonzalez. Roger, it's Jack. Listen, I think it's happening again, except this time it's a girl. Now, how do you know that? I can't explain it now, but according to my information, she's got to work for MRD. She's attractive, she's got blonde hair. Oh, man, you know what? I think I met her earlier today. Got a business card here somewhere. Her name's Eva Lay. She's public relations for MRD. And how do you know she's our next victim? Look, I'm not sure. Let's just say that, that I got a good lead, all right? Did you check out my lead on uh, Stein about the poisoning? Jack, it looks like your lead was correct. Exotic poison was used to stop Stein's heart. Look, it's not that exotic. We can find it right here in Florida. What? Look, just see if you can find out where Eva Lay lives, all right? Because I think she's in real danger, man. You know, Jack, I can have you brought in for questioning. Oh, yeah, right, Roger. Except you're forgetting about that funny little federal law about revealing sources, the fact that I'm a reporter, remember? Listen, why don't we just do this? I'll keep telling you what I know, and you keep working with me, all right? Listen, as soon as you get the address, call me back. I'm at 555-2420. 2420, right. Call me right back.
phone right now, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. God, I hate answering machines. Yeah, Jack. I just called this Eve Alle, and all I got was an answering machine. Where's she live? Boca Raton, 120 Flamingo. Man, she must make some cash, huh? Boca? All right, I'll meet you there. Yeah, unfortunately. Ooh, supper time. <laughs> Hi, what can I do for you? I'm here to see Detective Gonzalez. What's your name? Jack Brady. Does he know you're coming? Yeah, he's expecting me. Jack Brady, don't you work for the newspaper? Yeah, the Briar Gazette. Thanks. Hey, Rod. How'd it happen? Hey. Why don't you tell me, Mr. Answer Man? You seem to be one step ahead of me lately. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Uh, apparently she was strangled. Must have been one big dude. All the ribs were crushed. Or one big snake. A snake? In downtown Boca? Are you crazy? I told you you wouldn't believe me, didn't Detective I? Detective Gonzalez! In here! Hey, I think you're gonna wanna take a look at this. It's over there. What do you know, Jack? Fess up, and don't jack me off. What do you want from me, Roger? I don't have any proof. What I do have is a good story about a young girl who has these visions about things before they happen. What? Look. I know this little girl who's having these visions about the MRD murders. Are you telling me that you're putting your faith in some cockamamie bullshit story that smells of a poor man's version of Carrie? You asked. 
How do you explain my inside information? What do you think, it's luck? No, no, you got me. I gotta go. I got a story to write, huh? You call me, Jack. You call me if you get any more info on this case. Because I swear, I'll nail you for withholding evidence from an ongoing investigation. Oh yeah, that's good, Roger. And I'd like to see your captain's face when you tell him my source. Crystal ball story going. What are you doing, man? I'm what trying your candy, man. So what's going on? You almost finished? Yeah, it's going good. You want to take a look? Let's see this. Psychic teenager predicts murder by Jack Reed. I'm telling you, this is the one that could put me right up there with Woodward and Bernstein. The only problem is, Slugger will never let it fly if he finds out I'm the one that wrote it. He'll never go to print. I gotta say, man, it's original, man. Look, I'm gonna get myself a cup of coffee. And then I got a little more research to do. Close this thing out for me, would you? You want some coffee? No, I'm all right, thanks. Broward Gazette, Jack Brady speaking, sumo wrestler extraordinaire. Gee, Flash, you're as sure as ever. Jack there? Well, hold on there, little lady. I'll rustle him up for you. Jack, it's Sue, she's on line three. Oh, shit, we had a date tonight. Put her on hold. Sue, hey. Listen, I'm sorry, but I totally forgot about our date tonight. <laughs> this is getting old, Jack. I know. It's just this story that I'm working on. It's got me so preoccupied. You know, I don't care what it is this time. I'm, um, I'm just laying here in my new red sexy lingerie and I just finished rubbing scented body oil all over. I finished reading my Harlequin romance novel and how do you think I feel? I guess we weren't going bowling, huh? Very funny, Jack. Look, I'm sorry. I just, I gotta finish up this research for Slugger. Look, how about if I take you out tomorrow? When? Tomorrow afternoon. I'll call you in the morning and let you know exactly when. Well, okay. All right, I'll see you then. Makes it to the press. The writer forgets to put his name in the byline. do this to me? To Crystal and me, to us. Tracy? What are you talking about? Do what? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The article in today's paper. Article? I didn't have an article going into today's paper. Who else could know about Crystal? You, you, you? Tracy, I swear I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I didn't have an article. Let me go get the paper, okay? Hold on. Yeah. 
Oh, no, that's my uh, maid cleaning up. Um, listen, I think I know how this happened. How about if I explain it to you and Crystal at the beach today? At the beach today? Is that your way of saying you're sorry? Um, that's my way of saying that I'd like to take you and Crystal to the beach today to make you forget about everything that's been going on. Okay, we'll go. If only to get away from these phone calls I've been getting since this morning. I had one young boy call and want to take Crystal in for show and tell. Listen, I am sorry. I know, but I'm still mad. I know. I'll see you in a little bit, huh? Gazette, psychic chick predicts murder. Psychic chick predicts murder, sir. 25 cents, man. 25, that's okay. Hey, give my quarter, you asshole.
Yeah, Ben, you should have seen it. Oh my God, it was so disgusting. I know, I know. All right, listen, I gotta go. All right. Welcome to Jay Sprats. Thank you. Table for two? Um, Three. <laughs> Would you like to be inside or outside? Inside. Inside. Enough of the sun. Come on. Crystal. Crystal. Today is Benny. He'll be here to take your order shortly. Whatever you do, don't stare at his eye. It's glass. I hate it when people stare at it. Benny! Hello, my name is Benny. I'll be a waiter for today. Don't I know you? Well, I was Mr. New Jersey in 1989. Would anybody like something to drink before you take your orders? Water? Soda? Milk for the young lady? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Crystal. Why don't you just bring us a round of waters and while you're gone, we'll eye up the menu, Benny. <laughs> Very well. What are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing at all. Thank I'll you. be back with your drinks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. So, Jack, do you think this little outing is going to get you out of that deep pile of shit? Crystal? You know, about the story. Yes, um, about the story. I'm so glad that we're on that subject now. I'd like to know how that got in the paper anyway. Flash thought he was helping me out. He erased my name off the byline, and then he sent the copy to the editor. So, you didn't know about it? No. Yeah. And I'm sure your friend Flash will back that one up, too. Yeah, he will. Good answer. And what will be today's fare? Our special is the tropical chicken pasta salad. Yeah, I'll try that. Me, too. Yeah, I'll make it three. Three specials coming right up. What are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing at all. Very well, then. I'll be back with you all. So what did you think about the story anyway? Um, you know, Jack, critiquing it was not the first thing on my mind at the time. Tracy? I thought it was well written. You know, concise, but not too abrupt. Sensitive, yet informative. But hardly front page material. I don't know what the excitement is about anyways. Well, honey, if you could use your powers to solve those murders, that would be a real story. What do you mean, a real story? What would happen if I ever gave you a real story? A real story. A real story. A real Jack. story. A real hello, story. Hello, Jack. You know, a real story. Hello. Jack. Jack, hello. Having a psychic vision, Jack? My eye! My grizzly eye! My eye!
Roger, it's Jack. Listen, meet me at Everglades Park by the airboats. Within the hour, it's going down. What's up, Jack? You got another prediction from your Ouija girl? Hey, she's been pretty accurate so far, don't you think? And this time she has a time and a place. It's worth checking out, Rog. Okay, I'll be there. But this better not be one of your wild goose chases. Just be there. Darling, going for a little boat ride. Oh, how romantic. Yeah, romantic. <laughs> Park you saw in your vision, Crystal? Yeah, I mean, I went here on a school field trip. Where are the airboats? If I remember correctly, they're right across that walkway over there. call this meeting. Don't I know you? Have you ever been arrested? No. <laughs> Look, people, we all know why we call this meeting, because I had a vision. And uh, none of this looks familiar, so I suggest we look around. Well, that's the most original idea I heard yet. Before we all split up, is there anything else you can think of that might help us in this? Well, I saw um, alligators in an airboat, and I saw the sign to get into the park. I know, yeah. I, I saw a man for my first vision, you know, the architect, but he didn't look the same. Great. What else did you see? Elvis, maybe? No, Serpico. But I did see an island. Look. She said the airboat dock was around here somewhere. She thought it was down at the end of the walkway. So why don't we go look for it, huh? That's a good idea. Ladies, stay here. Mom, once again, we're cut out of the action. That's okay. I mean, I don't mind. The last thing I wanted to do was go look for a murder in the swamp anyway. Just look at how beautiful it is. Come on, let's go. 
Let's commune with nature. Stay right here. Hey, buddy. Broward County Homicide. Anybody left here lately? About 10, 15 minutes ago. Dr. Jones? Yes, sir. Paul Jones. Got it. You know where he might have went? Went down that trail right there. You know where he was headed? More than likely out to an island he goes to all the time. Look, take me there. Take us there. Hey, Jack. Jack, get off the boat. Get off the boat. Come on, Raj. What are you going to do, shoot me? You kinky. I just love it. <laughs> Charlotte, you ever been eaten? I love it, baby. Yeah, do it. And you're about to have your every dream fulfilled. Uh, uh, but honey, I, I don't think I understand. I mean, when are we gonna get naked? And, and you know. Would you put your finger there, please? Why, sure, honey. Thank you. That's it. Well, what are you looking for, honey? Oh, friends. Huh. Here they come. Bon appetit. Give you a hundred bucks. Chase that airboat that just took off around the corner. Two hundred, you got a deal. Make it three hundred if you catch them. Let's go.
Oh, honey, I'm so glad you came back. Well, who are you? You're much more attractive. <laughs> Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh. Uh. Let's go home. Oh, your place or mine? <laughs> Take it easy now. Oh, sweetie. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, honey. What's going on? Damn that jackass Brady! Leads me into this gator-infested swamp, only to freaking rescue this totally intoxicated nymphomaniac. And look at me now, I'm soaking wet. possibly go wrong? What else could possibly happen? Is anybody there? Where are you? You? Oh my, aren't you aggressive? Oh, I just love that in a man.
I'm bored. Can I, can I take a walk? No, stay right here. No, I'll just go on the nature walk, please. I'm so bored. All right, well, be careful, but don't talk to strangers. Mom. Be good. Jack. Jack Brady. Jack, what's going on? You were supposed to be here hours ago. Sue, I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of something very important. Oh, more important than our relationship. Yeah, I'm pursuing a lunatic serial killer. <laughs> you know, you've really crossed the line with that lie. That's it. We're over. We're over. I don't want to see your sorry ass in here again. That's it. Frankly, my dear. It's you! It's you! You're the one of my visions! You don't understand, little one. I'm protecting the land. I'm protecting the wildlife that can't protect itself. I'm the self-appointed watchdog of the environment. This, this is my duty, my mission, my glory. Well, well besides being a self-righteous, pompous ass, you're murdering human beings. Aren't they important too? So I eradicate a few to save the many. Can't you see the beauty in that? Or do you prefer the asphalt jungle? Isn't there a better way? <laughs> I tried. Lord knows I tried. I have followed the letter of the law. But every time it boils down to the same thing. Who has the most money to spend? This, this is my salvation. My glory. This is my chance to put my stamp of approval on all those people who scoffed at me. Am I in the way of your dreams? Well, that depends, little, my little psychic chick. Look into the future. What do you see? Peanut butter. Peanut butter? Yes, peanut butter. As in crushed nuts. <laughs> Crystal, are you okay? I am, but I'm not sure how he You're is. You're not going anywhere, What did you do uh, to him? Uh, I just uh, told him of his future. Uh, <gasps> Don't I know you? Well, yes, you, you do look a little familiar. UCLA, 1979. My little wild thing? Spacey, Tracy? I haven't seen you in 16 years. 16 years? Mother, is he my father? <laughs> as sure as the stars control our destiny. Father? My little wild oh. thing! Killed by the giant iguana in the rainforest of Brazil. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me get.
get this right. You two are long lost lovers from some bygone hippie dynasty. <laughs> Hello? He just tried to kill your daughter for goodness sake. He's a suspect in two murders and a disappearance. And now you're just one big happy family? Is that the picture I'm getting here? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Jack, at least you're not going to write about space cadet seminars anymore. Yeah, right? That's all right. One of these days, I'm going to get an even bigger story. And I'm going to get credit for it, too. You're going to see it right there, just like that. Jack Brady. It'll be me. I'll be in print. Everybody will know my name. They'll know me. Jack Mohanson Brady. I'll be a happy man. I'll have the whole enchilada, the big banana. I'm gonna pluck that ripe tomato from the vine and ride it all the way into the winter circle.
Quero que o little, quero que o little, quero que o 